Isaiah chapter 44, verse 15 to 17, perfectly describes Trinitarians. Let me read it for you. Then shall it be for a man to burn, for he will make thereof, and warm himself, yea, he kindleth, he baketh bread, or and breaketh bread, sorry, yea, he maketh a god, hmm, maketh a god, kind of like the Trinitarians, they've made their own god, and worshipeth, worshipeth it, he maketh a graven image, and falleth down thereto, kind of like the Trinitarians, they make their trinity idols, and they bow down before them, he burneth part thereof in the fire, with part thereof he eateth flesh, He kind of like the Catholics, they eat flesh, he roasteth roast, and it, it is and is satisfied. Not good at reading on a computer. He warmeth himself and saith, Ah, I am am I sorry, I am warm, and I have seen the fire. And then the residue thereof he maketh a god, even his graven image, and falleth down unto unto it, and worshipeth it, and prayeth unto it, and saith, Deliver me, for thou art my God. Trinitarians have made their own God, and they bow down before it, they make a graven image and bow down before it. Isaiah 44, verse 15 to 17, perfectly describes Trinitarians. Go on Google and just search up Trinity, and you'll have all these, these idols and these graven images of their three-god Trinity system. You know, you have, you know, this uh, sodomite, queer-looking uh, white guy, this long-haired guy they call Jesus. You have this old man they call God the Father, and you have this bird that they think is the Holy Spirit. You know? And then it's kind of funny because you search up Trinity, it's primarily Catholic paintings. It's it's primarily from Catholic sources. You have the, you know, witchcraft trichatra and the, uh, you know, witches have that symbol. You got all this different stuff. But Trinitarians have made their own god. You know, you got the triangle in the background, the Illuminati significance of that. Uh, CatholicTradition.org, it's mostly Catholic sources. But Trinitarians have made their own god. They, they, he maketh a god, he maketh a graven image, and bow down thereto. Perfectly describes Trinitarians. The Trinity is a false god. Let me give you a brief synopsis of the biblical god. God has a body, God has a soul, God has a spirit. You know, these three are one. So that's the biblical godhead. Not this three god, three persons system. It's paganism, pure paganism. So anyway, don't be deceived by Trinitarianism. God bless you. Goodbye.